doing spiritual work or you have a home altar or you carry some things on your person, um, just as you would give yourself a shower or a bath, or at least I hope you do, um, you would clean yourself. You clean your house so that it doesn't get all gross and become a bed of diseases and stuff. Well, the same thing with your uh, tools is they are out in the world with you and they're absorbing whatever you're exposed to. So uh, if you work in a, oh, a big box store, an office, whatever, with a lot of people, a lot of rampant emotions or whatever, things get icky because they will collect the energy. And even if you're using something like onyx or other types of black stones or dark stones that are meant to absorb negativity and keep it away from you, well, those things still need to be purged. So imagine like you have a dust collector in your vacuum. So when you vacuum your floor, it all goes into the bin and that's its job. It's to collect the ick from your floor and your ceiling fans and whatever else. Well, your stones are kind of like that bin. And it's a great thing, it does its job, but it does need to be cleared out. Now, um, you can do this a lot of ways. It's all very simple. And what I'm going to do is to say, don't violate any of your personal beliefs or religious practices. Cleansing and purification are part of all walks of faith. And even if you are an agnostic or an atheist, just, you know, the bare fact that stuff gets dirty and needs cleaned is enough to get you the idea that you'll want to clean your tools. So what I do periodically is um, I'll rinse my things under some water. Partly it gets any dust or debris off of them, but I just tend to say something like, I purify you of all the ick of the world. I'll also sprinkle a little bit of salt. Salt, again, in all different um, parts of the world has been used not only for seasoning, but for purification, for cleansing. There's lots of folklore and different things relevant to salt. So I sprinkle that to give it a little clean. And then uh, I'll often put them in the sunlight for a little bit. Slide over. A little bit more direct sun here. So I just, oh, I just have this little container and I put a nice microfiber cloth in them for some softness. And I'm just leaving them here in the sun because that fire, that light of the sun helps to purify them. Um, you know, if you're out in the field, out in the world, and you feel something needs purified, uh, you can always just set that intention. Hey, I'm going to cleanse all the ick and purify you. You can give it some breath. So what I mean is I'll just pick up one of my... So just hold it in your hand and... Like blow off the dust. If you have a little packet of salt, like you might... Uh, I just buy them in bulk. Because like for $2 you get a gajillion packets. Um, or if you have an extra one from fast food or something like that. Just give it a little sprinkle and then you're good to go. If you're at home and you can, it's nice to put everything in the sunlight for a bit and let that help to purify. So that's it. Just a quick thing to purify and do any, if you want to say a prayer over it, great. If you have another spiritual practice that's part of your way of doing things, that's fine. It's all customizable. I'm never going to be the person who says you have to do it this way and say these words in that way because there's just people from all over the world and we're all really the same in our course. So you do you, you do what feels right to you. Thanks so much. And if you are interested in a spiritual reading uh, or more training, you can go to innerguidanceondemand.com. That's my website. And I have some goodies for you if you click the freebies tag. Thanks for watching. And as always, cheers to your blissful life.